Welcome to this video about how to find the numbers of protons, neutrons and electrons. To be able to find these numbers we need to look at how an element is represented on the periodic table and here we have the example of carbon. So we have the symbol C for carbon and then we've got a bottom number and a top number here. Now the bottom number is always the atomic number and the atomic number of an element tells us how many protons there are. So it's equal to the number of protons. The top number here is called the mass number and the mass number tells us how many protons and neutrons that are together. So to find the number of protons now we just have to look at the atomic number and the atomic number is 6 so that tells us that carbon has 6 protons because it is the atomic number. Now we need to find the number of electrons. To find this number we need to remember that in a neutral atom the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So it's equal to the number of protons and we already have the number of protons, it's 6, so that means that there are also 6 electrons. Now the neutrons are a tiny bit more tricky. For this one we need to remember that the mass number is the number of protons together with the number of neutrons, so it's protons plus neutrons. Now to get the neutrons what we need to do is we need to take the mass number and we need to take away the number of protons. To write this a bit easier because the number of protons is equal to the atomic number we will just write mass number minus atomic number and for carbon we get 12 minus 6 here and that means we have 6 neutrons in total. Now let us look at a second example. This time we have fluorine here. This is how fluorine is shown on the periodic table. We have the symbol F and again we've got the atomic number and the mass number. So remember that the bottom number is the atomic number and the top number is the mass number. Now remember for the number of protons that this one is equal to the atomic number. So this means that we have 9 protons in this case. For the electrons we need to remember that in a neutral atom like fluorine is we have the same number of protons and electrons. So the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. We already know that the number of protons is 9. That means we also have 9 electrons. For the neutrons, remember we had to take the mass number and take away the atomic number. And here we have 19 take away 9 and that means that we have 10 neutrons in a flowing atom. Now have a go yourself at sodium. So you need to find the number of protons, electrons, 
and neutrons. So pause the video and have a go yourself at trying to find the numbers for these three. The number of protons is 11 because 11 is the atomic number down here. Then the number of electrons for sodium is also 11 because that's the number of protons and remember they are the same in a neutral atom. For the number of neutrons remember we had to take the mass number and take away the atomic number. So we get 23 minus 11 and 23 take away 11 is 12. So we have 12 neutrons in a sodium atom.